Having overcome many scientific challenges and constraints, gene technology has now entered its prime. Last month, a research institute of rare disease at West China Hospital of Sichuan University and BGI teamed up to complete the sequencing of 100,000 people with rare diseases within five years at a price of 1,346 yuan, around 200 US dollars per person. Previously, the minimum cost for 100 gigabytes of the high-quality whole human genome was 600 US dollars, which is a record set by BGI in 2016 and held ever since. The 1000 Genome Project was launched in January 2008. And in November 2012, the genetic data of 1092 people was officially published in Nature. Eventually, the project completed sequencing for more than 2,500 people. BGI completed about 25% of the sequencing work. In October 2007, the Yanhuan project was completed in Shenzhen, establishing the first Asian human genome database. In April 2007, James Watson, who discovered the DNA double helix, completed the whole genome sequencing. This was the first time that high-throughput sequencing was used in analyzing human genome. On April 15, 2003, after 13 years and with a cost of 3.8 billion US dollars, a complete map of the human genome was completed. On June 26, 2000, an initial rough draft of the human genome was released by the Human Genome Project. On October 1, 1990, the Human Genome Project was officially launched thanks to the unremitting efforts of a group of American scientists, including the Nobel Prize winner Renato Duobaco, who first called for it in 1986. Britain, Japan, France, Germany, and China have since joined the project one after another. Indeed, humans always move forward by standing on the shoulders of giants. We are grateful to Frederick Sanger and Walter Gilbert for developing didoxy termination and chemical sequencing respectively in 1977, as well as the scientist Ray Wu, who inspired Sanger. We thank Francis Crick, who in 1958 summarized the central dogma of molecular biology. Sidney Brenner also made great contributions to the interpretation of the genetic code we thank Zhou Hin Zhou for correcting the number of human chromosomes from 48 to 46 in 1955, thus ending 32 years of erroneous theory. We thank Watson and Crick for discovering the DNA double helix structure in 1953, which brought the study of genetics to the molecular level and officially ushered in the era of molecular biology. Regardless of whether they won the Nobel Prize, Rosalind Franklin, Morris Wilkins, and Linus Pauling are also great figures that deserve our gratitude. We are grateful for Oswald Avery's vitro transformation of pneumococcus in 1944, which proved beyond doubt that DNA is genetic material. We want to thank Wilhelm Jonasson who in 1909 coined the genetic material gene, and Chinese scientists who translated gene into jiyin. We thank Thomas Morgan and his wife Lillian Morgan, who in 1910 established the chromosomal theory of inheritance, following the study of fruit flies. We thank Friedrich Mischer, who in 1871 discovered nucleic acid Humans have been fascinated by it for 150 years. We thank Gregor Mendel for establishing the laws of heredity in 1865 through his crossbreeding experiments with peas. We thank Charles Darwin, who published The Origin of Species in 1859, and thank Yan Fu for bringing us the theory of evolution and ethics. 
like stars shining together in a beautiful night sky. These great minds have taken life sciences to brilliant new heights. I also want to thank Tong Dizhou, Bei Shizhang, Chen Zhen, Xia Jiahui, Lu Huiling, Luo Huiyuan, and Wu Min, among others. It is these pioneers of genetics in China who have created such a rich legacy for science and technology today. They are inspirations and role models for us all. Moving forward into the future, let's collaborate and stand together to pursue our mission to benefit more people through breakthroughs in life sciences and biotechnology.